Hi, folks. Barry Chapel coming to you live. They're working on a few technical glitches. I hope you guys can see and hear me. If you can hear me, just have a person or two call in. Say hello. Yeah, you know, we, uh, I fought the zombie apocalypse to get up the stairs here in Hollywood. Do you notice there's a zombie problem in Hollywood? You've noticed it. Give us a call. Let's make sure our phones work. And then we're really up and alive. I think I'm alive. But if you're not alive, how would you? Yeah, you know, that gets the big question, Wilson. Here, I am going to die. What? Can't hear you. 25. I got you now. You're telling me there's a 25 second delay. Ms. Graham says can hear and see now. All right. So Wilson, what's the two five for? Online viewers. Gotcha. All right. I thought that was your daily double number. No, oh, folks, I Barry Chapel coming to you live from Hollywood, California, home of the zombie apocalypse. I was just talking to Wilson about it. Oh, do you see that all the time, too, when you hear the zombies? You didn't see them. I did not see them. That makes her a zombie, Wilson. <laughs> Folks, hi, Barry Chapel. I got a Peter Max extravaganza tonight. I also have Michael Schofield's. I have a very, very rare Zax. I got it all tonight. Look at this right here. Oh my goodness, this is a Peter Max on canvas right here. Yes, comes with a $27,500 comp from I think it's uh, Maurice Shapiro for Park West, but he did that 12 years ago. I have Michael Schofield's work. I got a Statue of Liberty that's been hand embellished by Peter Max. I have some amazing pictures of Gregory Wilhelmy on a crane. Look at this one. He is painting a mural. Let me just get a good picture of this. This is Gregory Wilhelmy on a crane. They're painting this mural of cattle running through the street. All right, Wilson, what should you rather be? Hollywood Boulevard. Zombies running through the street or cattle? Uh, cattle. Yeah, probably cattle. <laughs> but but uh, zombies, you can trick a zombie. Yeah, do you have any... Uh, you know what a zombie cannot resist? Nestle Crunch Bar. Yeah, you get, you get, next, you get in the corner with a zombie, you just fling it. And that gives you 10, 12 seconds to run. He's going. He's trying to get. Yeah. Here's a picture of Gregory Wilhelmy. He's from Roundup, Montana. Here he is on set, painting right here. Painting outdoors on the Montana, on his Montana property. Yeah, no, we got all kinds of great pictures. Right here is a Michael Schofield. He quit painting. He truly did. This is, was done in 2020. And I don't know what the number is on this. This is the one that doesn't have a number. Peaceful Field View. View. Peaceful view. Have you ever seen a zombie anywhere, Wilson? Have you looked? 
2926. Have you ever seen a zombie? No. No? What about you? I'm not you sure. you what? I'm not sure. Not sure. Oh, they're there. Oh yeah. Yeah, I have seen a uh, well, I saw the Pearson light, but no, I haven't. I can't prove they're zombies. They don't have zombie blood tests yet. If they did, I'd find me a zombie. Now, this is Michael Schofield original. Michael Schofield uh, is one of the most famous American landscape artists. He's in the Smithsonian collection. He is in the Armin Hammer Billion Dollar Collection. He has been Artist of the Year. Some of his posters went on to be best-selling posters nationwide. Retail on this is $32,000. He quit painting, too. He, how old is Michael now? 74, 5? 75, then. 74, 75. How do you know he's not a zombie? He talks pretty well for a zombie. Juliet, do you think zombies slur their speech? I don't know. I'm asking important questions. Because if somebody comes up to me and they're slurring their speech, i got to figure out, are they drunk or are they a zombie? Or can a zombie get drunk? How would I know if it's a drunk zombie? Those are, anyway, this is a beautiful painting. Hand me the one next to it right there, too. Yeah, because I'm going to give people a couple choices. Oh, look at my Statue of Liberty. Yes. That is pure Schofield, painted in 2022. Darkened Forest? 2925. 2925. And this is what Michael Schofield can do better than most anybody else. 27,000 retail. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, because I am broadcasting like a zombie right now because the only people that can see me are online at primetime shopping network we have no affiliates it's like the zombie ate our affiliates so the so i have very few people watching so i'm going to make someone a deal a zombie deal of a lifetime ashley what am i in this beautiful schofield for and it is beautiful Oh, my goodness. Now, is there a zombie wants this price, Wilson? i got to get you around some more zombies. You know the best place to find zombies? And it's only a theory. The morgue. The morgue. Now, what you do, Wilson, is go to the morgue tonight. Bring a Nestle's Crunch Bar. <laughs> All right. You'll see people moving around. I'm going to give this a zombie price. Matt, this is the opening zombie price. And this is so cheap, I'm losing money. This will tell me if we're getting out to people. You know I sell those for $3,500. I have most of my 34 years on TV. 33, not in my 34th yet. But here's what I'm going to do. $725 to open, Ashley. That is a zombie price. $725 just to see if anybody is watching me. Does garlic work against zombies? Or is that vampires? Vampires. Vampires. $725 just to test, to make sure. That is a Michael Schofield original. One of the coolest originals you're ever gonna see for Michael Schofield. 
who quit painting. He even doesn't have a studio anymore, gave up his lease on his studio. He's going to travel the land, Wilson, just like Kane in Kung Fu. Go from town to town, seeing if you can solve crises with a paintbrush. Painting them pictures of a better place, Ashley. That's what he's going to do. Did you ever see Kung Fu when you were growing up? No, you didn't see it. Grasshopper. Yes. <laughs> when you can grab the pibble from my hand, you can leave. Yeah, all right. All right, here, I'll tell you what. I'll give you something. I'll give you a deal. This is a heavyweight deal from the heavyweight. I got to lose a few pounds. Look at this. This is a Statue of Liberty by Peter Max. Hand embellished by Peter Max. Born in 1947 in Berlin, Germany. This was on the Norwegian Cruise Line, 9-17-2012. Oh my goodness, look at this. Statue of Liberty. This was offered on their ship on October 8, 2012. Now, this has been hand embellished by Peter Max. One, uh, 50, 61 of 100. Only 100 of these were done, and this has been hand embellished. You see all the, the painting on top? You see that little portrait of an angel there? He, oh, this is really serious stuff here. Peter Max's are unattainable right now. You can't get them. For something like this, you might not believe me, but I will show you right here. Get my Peter Max folder out so you can see what I'm talking about. Yes, I want to show you one comp right here. Forget about all the awards. Here is a silk screen that he did in 1979, number 93 out of 150. 13 years ago was on eBay for 22,500. And there are 150. This, there are 100. This is number 111, I'm sorry, 61 of 100. Only 100 of these done. He has completely hand embellished it. I am told from people that take cruises, they want $33,000 to open. 33000 now, take somebody an early bird zombie special. Hey, Cameron, two for a second, because I just thought of a question. I need an answer to this, Wilson. Can zombies also be vegetarians? Can you, why can't you have a vegetarian zombie? He eats just for nutrition, but he's, he's dying for strawberries. I don't know. So you're telling me a zombie can't be a vegetarian? Can he wean himself off of human flesh Right. Take a look at this. Here's what I want to do. $33,000 on cruise ships. I'll tell you what. I just want to see if anybody's watching me. I'm going to give it a tenth of a dollar on cruise ships. 3300 to open 
$200 increments. That's been completely hand embellished by Peter Max. It is stunning. You got the Peter Max registration. You got everything you ever need. Not 33,300. And if you not only if you look at the paint at the top there, Wilson, and that drawing he put at the top, but he has overpainted this. He's done everything. It's almost a unique original. The reason it isn't is there were a hundred of this serigraph done. And this happens to be number 61 of a hundred. That would have been a takedown. All right. No takers on that. Tell you what, here's what I want to show you. A Zach's wall sculpture. Ashley, can you grab, oh, here I got it, this. We were playing the theme song to Butterflies. What was that song? Butterflies are free to fly. Yeah. This is an EM Zax. He hand painted and handmade all of these butterflies. This is a wall sculpture. I just haven't taken it out of the box. Do you see where he signs Zach's on the bottom? Take a look at that. He hand painted, how many butterflies do you think are there, Wilson? Yes, do they have them? Blood oranges. Vegetarian zombies eat blood oranges. Who, who came up with that? Mr. M. Mr. M. So Mr. M has had some experience with vegetarian zombies. Uh-huh, you see, Wilson? Wilson, guess how many butterflies are in there? I have no idea. That'd be hard to count because you get three quarters of the way and you forget where you are. Uh, this is a Zax, EM Zax, is an amazing pop artist. And here are some of the EM Zax, like this one they wanted 5,000. The guy's throwing a, a bouquet. What was that gallery that had a, that, that auction house that sold one for Julian, Julian's auction house for 10,500 sold a Zach's. This is huge. This is BC 2938. If I had to, I mean, you know, and, and you don't have to go far to find prices on EM Zach, seven, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000. This is a one-of-a-kind original sculpture right here. It's a wall sculpture. Ashley was asking me before, can you drink off of this? Should this be on a bar top? And uh, I said, I'm not sure, Ashley. And he has been in so many. Here is Art Business News with a story on E.M. Zacks. Who is E.M. Zacks? And uh, retail on something like this, oh, probably 8,800 to 11,000. Because he sculptured every one of those butterflies and hand painted them and 
I want to set them free. I want them to fly away. But I think Jack would get mad. Matt, would Jack get mad at me if I let all these butterflies go? Really? Over a little cute little butterfly? I'll tell you what. Ashley, tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, this is going to be cheap. Uh, can you count how many are there? <coughs> I can't. No, because you'll get to this one and somebody will. What happened? Did one fly away? <laughs> what happened? Did the butterfly go? Oh. What? I'm gonna make this so cheap. It's it's it's. You're talking fourteen, fifteen thousand, twenty-five hundred to open. Hundred dollar increments. That is an E. M. Zach's wall sculpture. It is beautiful. How do you know they're not alive metal? Those could be alive butterflies. Why not? Thank you, what Thank is, you for the question. He says, how deep is the, is the wall? See how deep it is here? We should have taken it out. Let's take it out. <laughs> okay, wait, let me get my knife. You get your knife? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Wilson. Yeah, you want to know how deep it is. Yeah, we'll show you. This and and folks, whoever gets this, E.M. Zacks is becoming very very successful, and uh, Does anybody ever cut themselves on yes, Sean Leffler. Oh really? Yes, with a what kind of sword? Uh, you, uh, he was sell, He was doing a shop at home sh uh, sword show, and he stabbed himself by accident with a katana sword or something. And you heard this, uh, Frank. I, I think I hurt myself. What do you? What? What happened? Hey, there you go. Fr Frank, I think I stabbed myself. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Frank, I'm bleeding. <laughs> All you got to do is look it up. Sh Sean Leffler. That is incredible. Look at that. Let's see the back. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Is there a Hooks. Oh, yeah. Yes, I have a Statue of Liberty. Yes. Okay, maybe I'll move the box here. All right, let's move the box. What, what's the question? They want to see the Statue of Liberty again? Okay. This is, this is really a cool Statue of Liberty. Not that there's an uncool Statue of Liberty. But you saw on Planet of the Apes, Wilson, let's show this right here, where they had statues of the different apes. Yeah, that could happen. Yes, yeah, so could you imagine that? Statues of zombies. What is he saying? Who is that? I want to make a sale. Susan. It's my, my friend Susan. Hi, Susan. Hey, let me talk to Susan for a second. Susan, have you ever seen a zombie? Find out if Susan's ever seen a zombie. They're more prevalent than you think, Wilson. How do you know? Say what now? Oh, I can't say that on the air. You can. What's your last name, Juliana? I can't say that on the air. We can take a picture. We'll work her a heck of a deal. Hey, can you ask Susan? Ask Susan. She, I know, but can you ask her if she's ever seen a zombie? Okay, someone is 
considering that one. All right, I'll tell you what. I know what I am going to do next. All right, Chapel. Demonstrate manual dexterity. You did. Okay. I am going to put up Yes. Can you put the four rent sign up? Yeah. And I'm going to let you move the Zach's butterfly. Yes. Be careful with those butterflies. This is a Michael Schofield original. He quit painting. He cleared out his studio. He stopped painting. He is wandering the land like Cain in Kung Fu. He could run into some zombies. Now that you think about it, Michael Schofield could be a zombie. I don't know. I think that gets in trouble, Wilson, if you start asking people, hi, how's it going? Hey, before I have you over for dinner, just out of curiosity, are you a zombie? Do zombies know they're zombies? I mean, do they, do they know or do they have to see the big bite mark on them? I doubt that was a mosquito. Yeah, all right. This, Ashley really liked this Michael Schofield. The for rent Michael Schofield. Tell you what I'm going to do. No, don't do it. Mm. Should I auction this one right now? What would you start at? I would start it at 100%. Really? Yeah. What kind of increments? Uh, $100. How much? $200. All right, Ashley. Start off at this. What's that? Okay. 500 to open, $100 increments. I can't buy it for anywhere near that. That's a Michael Schofield original. Now, I don't know if I can make that claim. Could I make that claim? This per Is it possible, Wilson, that this Schofield will protect you from zombies? If you buy this and hang it in your house, you may never, can I promise you will never get bit by a zombie? That's a good point. It depends what city they live in. Where are you in Alta? What? In Alta. Um, what? On the waterfall? Yes. Oh. What do I do, Ashley? You work it out. Ashley's handling the offers. I'm thinking about... Can I guarantee somebody that the for rent painting by Schofield will, will protect you forever from zombies? The forever is a problem. The for rent on the mailbox is a problem. So uh, 500 to open on the original Michael Schofield. You're not going to see that very often. Is that gone as the... You sold the butterflies? Butterflies have left the building. Have left the building. Okay. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. Now I am going to move this over here. Okay. Done in 2020. BC 
2920 Purple Majesty. I'm scared of the butterflies. I'm going to let you carry that away because it could roll down that hill. Yes. You see what I'm talking about, Wilson? It bounces on the step, bounces and bounces. I got to be careful. Look at this, Michael Schofield. That is a perfect painting. Look at that. $30,000 retail. He has been in more galleries. He is, he taught art. He was, his dad was in the military. He uh, moved around a lot. His, on his mom's side, his grandmother was Native American. Do you remember the tribe, Wilson? Potawatomi. Yes. I interrupted you. Look at that creek. Look, look at that right there. You can see the reflections off of it. Purple Majesty. Oh, that's you got to be careful with that name, Wilson. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say, oh, don't you. Oh, Juliet, don't you do that. Did you hear what Juliet said when we said purple majesty? She said, are you talking about a dead ruler? They turn purple when they die? Yeah. I mean, what, her majesty? What's wrong with you? That woman has some problems. You think so? Yes. The minute... You mentioned Purple Majesty, people think of beautiful mountains, mountain ranges. Giuliani thinks of dead queens. What is going on? She could be a zombie. She could be a zombie. I can't ask that question. Have you ever eaten a royalty? No. Not that you know of. Tell you what I'm going to do. This is huge. Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, this is too cheap. That is 24 by 30, $1,200 to open. That is a perfect Michael Schofield. 24 by 30, it is frame ready. You could go to Michael's or Walmart and get a beautiful frame. You could just hang it without a frame, string some Wire on the back, there's a lot you could do. That's too cheap, $1,200. Tell you what else I'm going to put up right now. Ashley, can you grab the butterflies? They scare me. I'm scared of butterflies. Yes, I am. What was that one movie? <laughs> <laughs> that movie that had, uh, oh, she's very famous. Actress, you covet what you want. Anthony, uh, what? No, oh gosh. She's in a, she's Jodie Foster. Silence of the Lambs. That's where there were a lot of butterflies. Do you remember that, Ashley? I do. All right. Oh, that would have been a deal at 1200. Call me up real fast while I'm still insane. Get me really close. This is a beautiful Michael Schofield, painted four years ago. He signed it 2020. Oh, that's a...
Say what? Okay. Hand me a, which, which, oh, I know what I, I didn't have a Gregory Wilhelmy right over. Yeah, what else would you like? All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to move on to. Hang on. I know what I got right here. I got Central Park by Gregory Wilhelmy, or I, I know what I'm going to do. I'm down to the last two. I'm going to move this away. That would have been one heck of a steal. And I am going to put up one, what? What are you going to say? Okay. Here's what I was going to put up, a Sasha Basari. I only have, is it two or three of these left? He is doing a show for Satachi Online in London. One of the biggest sellers of Russian art. And this one right here is BC2809. Take a look at this. I only have, is it two or three left? Only have two Sasha Basari's left. Yes. He is a graduate of the Pushkin Art College and they got his master's from the St. Petersburg Academy of Fine Art. I'm off. Flies are free to come back. All right, well, I thank him anyway. The Zax is still available. Here are the last two Sasha Basaris I have left on this planet. Sasha Basari got his master's degree from the St. Petersburg Academy of Art. He is one of the greatest painters I've ever met. I spent three weeks with him in 2011. Um, if you look into the eyes of the person he's painting, you know that person. That person talks to you. He knows you. You know him. It's uncanny. I'm hoping that Satachi, Galleries of London, one of the biggest suppliers and sellers of art on the planet, when they give him a show in London, I mean, his work already sells so far, so far many places around the world. Sells a lot in the United States, sells a lot in London. But these are fantastic Sasha Basaris. I am down to two and I can't get any more for quite a while. And instead of being, I had them up for, I think, 4,500. And I got crazy one night and lowered it, lowered it, lowered it. These are the last two Sasha Basaris I have. And what was that crazy price I lowered it to? No, I didn't. Did I do that, Wilson? How do you I know? Do you have, do you have a recording of that? No, I didn't do it. All right, on these two, last two, they're framed too. I was selling before even framing them, then we framed the last bunch, $1,495. He is magic. Sasha Basari, he sent me all these pictures of him in 2023, 2024 in St. Petersburg. He owns the school of gentle surrealism. And he is showing you things that can't happen, but he's doing it in a way where it might be able to happen. And look at that. They are stunning. At 1400 
and ninety-five dollars. Wow. My favorite one got sold to Pedro. That little Russian orphan kid. Who bought Pedro? The eyes follow her around the house. Missy bought. Uh, she actually had that beautiful story. About, about, about the. Um, how she interprets it. How she interprets the Sasha. That's why I love his work. They talk to you. Ashley's talking about one of our customers, Miss E, uh, who uh, we thought maybe this was an orphan kid. In an orphanage, and she's she says it's spooky how the the eyes kind of follow you around the the place. They will, but they talk to you only good things. She didn't think it's spooky. She just loves, she thinks it's. She just loves it. You're on, right? No. Tell people. No. So yes. So uh, customer Missy, she received both of her Basaris, and one of them was the um, snow, which is your. Orphan boy. Orphan boy. And Pedro. she had a beautiful story. Once she received them, unpacked them, she did say she hasn't hung them yet. But um, she does has chosen a spot. But she had this beautiful story that what she interprets the boy as is um, a while ago she uh, came into a little bit of money, so she wanted to donate it to the church. And so she, when she did, the pastor um, who helped her with the donation said there was a family in Russia, I believe it was Russia, and they needed to, to come to America, and her money helped them. And it was Ooh. they had a little boy. It could have been Pedro. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, that's so that great, it's, it's, Missy. That is so yeah. good. And then, the, and then she got a little boy and a little girl, Basari. And the little girl, Basari, represents her granddaughter, the, yeah, so so it's just that's how the Basaris are. They they talk. Yeah, and you may not see it here on air or over the TV, but once you get it home, you'll know why you you. Uh, you oh, and with import tax, everything I can barely. Then we frayed them. I'm probably losing money at fourteen hundred ninety five dollars, and these are the last two I have. This one is called Winter. It's during the white nights where it stays late all night. Maybe you know that redhead there. I don't look at her. She's telling a story. She's talking to you. And this little guy's going, hello, fat pigeon. Is that pigeon overweight? No. <laughs> Wilson says it is a tiny bit there. I mean, what does it take? Like 12 tomatoes to equal one pigeon? All right, well, folks, it's one of the last times you can get to see a Sasha Basari at $1,495. And I am going to move along. Can you hand me Central Park by Gregory Wilhelmy? It should be, yeah. And we will take the Basaris. Thank you, Missy, if you're watching, for, for telling us the story about the Basaris. I hope the little kid the church help looks like uh, Pedro. This is what a master artist can do. This is Gregory Wilhelmy. Gregory Wilhelmy has museum shows. What's the item number? 2914. 2914. Gregory Wilhelmy has museum shows at the different, lots of different museums. The Nicolaus and Art Museum. He has museum shows 
at the South Dakota uh, Museum of Art. Let me show you a little bit. Gregory Wilhelmy. So, and I got some great pictures. I love this passing glance. That's Gregory. And he paints a picture where the road goes right through him. Exhibit date. And this was exhibited at the Bismarck Art Museum. This is a Gregory Wilhelmy. And he writes on the back of this painting, my wife Cheryl spent the day at a business meeting. I spent the April day painting the beautiful spring colors in Central Park. Life is not fair. Look at that. He got the best of the day is what he's saying. And he painted this in 1985. Look at this. This is what you're getting. And Gregory Wilhelmy, I mean, he has sold paintings for 50, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And here you have this painting right here. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And I got some great pictures of Gregory Wilhelmy. He is a museum artist. And he has different shows, a matter of time, paintings from the Northern Plains. This was at the Yellowstone Art Museum. It's really hard to get a showing at an art museum unless you know what you're doing and you're that talented. Commission, Mural, Billings, Montana, summer of 2002. That's Gregory painting, a, making it look like the street splits two directions, just like the Acme uh, comic strip. I wonder if anybody's driven the car the other way anyway. Take a look at this. That is what an artist of unbelievable works can do. Here was Gregory Wilhelmy at one of his art showings. On the back, local exhibition. Yeah. That is without a doubt a $25,000, $30,000 painting. And I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to get Gregory Wilhelmy into your hands. He is that good times 10. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This is cheap, too. Look at the reflection. Oh, this is too cheap. 1983. That's the year I graduated from college. Yes, I graduated from college, Wilson. No, it was an American college, Wilson. I don't remember the name. No, I didn't. Southern Oregon State College. After I graduated, they changed the name to University of Southern Oregon. They did that, too, when I started my master's at North Texas State. Now it's University of North Texas. As soon as I leave. Here's what I'm going to do. This is so cheap, it's un you can't pass on this. $1,500 to open. $200 increments once we get the open. Oh, I guess. I like what he does is to himself every now and then. Look how Gregory 
painted himself there. He turned himself into a hippie, Ashley. Look at that. He's selling Budweiser. That's Gregory Wilhelmy. He put himself in the picture. All right, I'm going to take this Wilhelmy down and. I just think this is amazing. Painting this mural of the cattle. That would have been several months to, to get that one perfect. Okay. I'm the Sasha Basari's. Look at this. Satachi Online, $15,000. Uh, and that was 14 years ago. That was an amazing piece. All of Sasha Basari's. And Miss E is right. The eyes will follow you. It is just uncanny. So I got, what, three minutes that I'm on dish? What's that, one minute? Uh-oh. It's not a solar flare. It's time off now, Wilson. Well, folks, I'm going to hand you this one, Ashley. We have other Gregory Wilhelmies. But what I want to do is say hello to Dish Network. You don't like that song? It's a ballroom blitz. I do love it. Yeah. It was 13 when I saw them play. I have no idea why I was there. Are we on Dish yet? 15 seconds? How do you know our show doesn't go through a wormhole? And 15 seconds turns into 15 years. Where well, are you going, where is Dish? Hello, Dish Network. I hope you're out there. Hello to the people that watch me on the internet only. Now I have Dish Network and the internet only. My name is Barry Chappell. It is the Wednesday night fine art extravaganza. Tonight is an extravaganza of Peter Max. I got some of the rarest pieces, some of the hardest to get pieces. I'm bringing them to you here. Also have some Michael Schofield, have some Gregory Wilhelmy, have all kinds of great stuff. But I hope everybody's having a great evening. This is Peter Max about 15 years ago. That was him in his high limit room in New York. A lot of people ask, why does Peter Max have such uh, an uh, affiliation or such a love of the Statue of Liberty? He could look at the Statue of Liberty all day from his office there. And he was upset that you could not go to the Statue of Liberty. It was closed down because it was breaking down. And he got upset about that and he called his friend, he was watching TV, and he saw a Chrysler commercial and Lee Iacola coming on the commercial and Peter Max called him up and said, look, let's raise some money to fix the Statue of Liberty. Together they raised $331 million dollars and in the late 70s, early 80s, it got reopened. President Reagan was there. Nancy Reagan was there. Everybody was there. And Nancy Reagan even invited him to the White House where they painted Statue of Liberties on paper on the White House yard. That is Peter Max. Problem is, though, on and off, Peter Max had had... A few problems. I don't know if it was 
he had some issues with onset of dementia that went away or that he had problems with. This is a picture of Libra, his daughter. And what does he have, a daughter and a son? Or uh, the Max kids talking about their fight to, to get Libra's daughter to be his conservator and how that was coming along. That was in the New York Post. A lot of people don't know Peter Max has been the official artist for the Super Bowl, the U.S. Olympics, the Winter Olympics, uh, the World Cup, the U.S. Open, he has been on the cover of Life Magazine. He's been on The Tonight Show. He's been everywhere. He is 84 or 85 now. And he was born in Berlin, Germany in 1937. His, he's Jewish. His last name is Fickelstein. His dad was smart enough and his, with his mom's help to get them to Shanghai. Being Jewish in Nazi Germany was not a smart thing to be. Their family knew it. They moved to Shanghai. They moved around and I think eventually got to New York City and became one of the world's greatest pop artists. Now, what I want to show you is what Peter Max is used to go through. Max Art was so much in sync that, they, that it was licensed by 72 corporations from General Electric, Clocks to Burlington Mills, Sox. Look at that. That's him on Life Magazine. Now these comps I'm showing you were 12 years ago. Here is a unique original. American flag. I took this, the piece was done in 2002. I printed this in 2012 and they wanted 60,000 or best offer. My favorite piece, which I have not been able to find again, angel with a heart right there. Retail 80,000. Asking price, 61300 And this was 12 years ago when I printed that. I have been trying to buy, and it's almost impossible, Wilson, but I have here tonight one, two, three, four amazing Peter Max. They are so stunning. And I am going to start with one. Susan, if you're watching, Ashley was telling you about this one. This is the Statue of Liberty. It's been hand embellished by Peter Max. This uh, was on a cruise ship 9-17-2012. It is... Hand embellished liberty. It is signed and numbered Max number 61 of 100. You can see where he has completely hand embellished the frame in acrylic. He drew this picture on it. He drew these lines on it. The heart right there. There is a number. When I was on the internet only, I was telling people that on cruise lines, this retails for $33,000. And to get the show rolling, I put it up at a stupid price. But I was trying to get the show rolling. This piece is BC 2937. Statue of Liberty, one of the few, one of the best subjects of Peter Max will always be remembered by. Yeah, you got a $33,000 piece. And I made the silly idea. It was silly. 3300 to open. 10 cents on the Park West dollar. 
10 cents, Ashley, on the dollar. That is a hand embellished, hand signed, hand numbered Statue of Liberty, beautifully framed. You got all the markings, the bell marks, everything you need to prove that is a Peter Max, and it is gorgeous. At 3300, someone's going to call in on this, I hope. It is just beautiful. Oh, look at that. What's that? Hang on, the painting's talking to me. What's up to Susan? I know you think you're for Susan, but let's let everybody else see it. But this is the Statue of Liberty, completely hand embellished, number 61 of 100. And I am going to Move this over for a second. No. Don't. Well, there's the painting. Hey, what movie was that where the kid tells Bruce Willis, tells his mom, I see dead people? What was it? Sixth Sense, right? Yes. I, I see dead people, but they don't know they're dead yet. Susan. <laughs> yes. Ashley was saying, that's Susan. Hi, Susan. What's that? All right, hang on, Susan. This painting is talking to you. Hang on, Susan, I just want to translate what the painting is saying. Yes, yes, you really do. Painting says it hopes it goes to Susan. So come in close on my talking Statue of Liberty. I'm going to walk over here. Susan, it is absolutely gorgeous, stunning. Done. That was sold. Yeah, you better grab it. That was sold. Thank you, Susan. Susan. Now, next Peter Max. This is on canvas. <laughs> Completely overpainted mixed media on canvas. Look at this right here. BC 2936. Oh, she's got it. She got a perfect one. Now look at this, Wilson. I don't want to break the staple on this. This was shown or sold on a Seattle cruise May 14, 2012. Oh my goodness, it's got the registration number on the back. Look at this. Wilson, this is canvas. That's acrylic on canvas. Now look at at this Park West appraisal. Look at this, folks. This you don't come across very often. Uh, Morris Shapiro, um, gallery director, 
uh, behalf of Park West, there is a registration number 244783. Why you want the registration number? 27000 Five hundred dollars is a Park West appraisal. Does that come through with the glare? Look at the date this was appraised at. April 13, 2012. Almost 12 years ago. 11 years and 10 months or something. This was 27500 Look at the Peter Max M28694. You got the registration number there. Series 4. You have everything you can think of now. It has been a long time since I've had a canvas Peter Max. Now... I told you the appraisal 12 years ago. Wilson, unframed, if you were to take a cruise on a Park West cruise, a VIP cruise now, they would tell you that their value is 102000 It wouldn't have been this one. It would have been a similar one. This one has three flags. Two Statue of Liberties and two hearts. Yes, it would have been. They would tell you that the Park West value is a. I am told by someone who works for Park West would be a hundred and two thousand today if you took a cruise. You got three flags, two hearts, and two Statue of Liberties there. Three flags, two Statue of Liberty, and one double heart. This is on canvas, Ashley. This is item number BC2936. Retail, 102000 Unframed. Mine's framed. Now, I got a price. You want the top of the line. Canvas Peter Max. And the way they put the uh, registration number and the Peter Max uh, markings, the anti-counterfeit markings on the back is second to none. Yeah. You can even swing that around. Isn't that something? It was 12 years ago. Something like this at. I'm, put, I'm, I'm putting Ashley, giving her a tough, tough, tough uh, chore here. I'm off. better than that Ashley no 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 I know you want at least 20 but we're not going to charge 20 19 18 I'm going to give somebody one heck of a price oh this is something folks oh my goodness he painted this in 2008 um Wow. 8500 to open. $200 increments. That's 8.5% on what ParkWest wants to get on a cruise, a VIP cruise. 8500 to open. It's so hard to get these canvas Peter Maxes. And, you know, just so you know, this canvas Peter Max was done 16 years ago. Look at that. Custom framed. 
registration number all over the back. That is a Peter Max. Oh, that's stunning. Now, actually, I'm going to swap this one out for one other Peter Mash. We'll put this one back over there next to the paint, but don't get it with that red, wet paint there. Oh, I'm telling you, man, I'm getting a little upset. The other night, I got this paint stained my suit. Don't touch that paint, Ashley. Don't do it. It won't come off easy. Here, I'll show you. No, don't do it. I'm really good at getting out stains, though. Don't you worry, Barry. You think you could get it out of a jacket? Yes. I know I could. All right. Well, I'm going to, I might test you a little later. <laughs> I hope everybody's having a good night. And yeah. Fun. This is Ashley. With Barry. <laughs> How many Liberty Heads do you see here? I would have to say I see five, Barry. Yes, you do. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, an American flag, uh, Saturn, Saturn, a heart, dove. two doves. Well, one dove. <laughs> How many doves is that, Wilson? Well, it's just a really plump dove. Is that what that is? <laughs> I guess it. I guess it's a theme, you know. Vasari oh. had a. Yeah, I had a, a fat plump. pigeon, yes. <laughs> well, well this, and I would have to say this one's my favorite because I love polka dots. Well, this is BC 2935, five liberties, heads, and a flag. This is Park West. I mean, oh, my goodness. Yeah, I love how he, um, he signed it right there, Barry. Do you see the... Max! Ah, yeah, it's beautiful. This is Peter Max at his best. Oh my goodness, the retail on something like this. Peter Max, hand signed, uh, unique original, uh, acrylic on paper. Oh, you're talking. Sixty-five, seventy thousand dollars unframed, but I, I got a great price. If anybody wants, we got these two left. Statue of Liberty sold. I started with three. I'll tell you what. Oh, I'm gonna give someone a great deal. Oh, look at that, Wilson. That's as patriotic as you can get. Forty-five hundred to open, two hundred dollar increments. I could show you comps at fifty, sixty, seventy thousand all day. Peter Max doesn't paint that much anymore. Years ago, he used to be invited on cruises, and he'd paint a piece or two on the cruise, and people would be betting, bidding while the cruise was going on. And it sold for a gazillion dollars, a gabillion dollars. But he is 86 now, or 84, 85, something like that. Well, if you were born in 1937, how old are you today? You are young at heart. All right, let's see if Siri is helping me. Siri. If a, yes. If a zombie was born in 1937, how old is the zombie today? I found this on the web. Birth to death of zombies? <laughs> My adult... <laughs> if a person was born in 1937, how old are they today? I know you can find 87. Siri, you are not nice to me. I'm just trying to help you. 
I think you're being very mean to me, Siri. I didn't get that. Could you try again? <laughs> Siri, are you a zombie? Are you a zombie? Go to quiz. I don't want to take a quiz to find out if you're a zombie. All right, I'll tell you what. Look at that. Uh, this is, and I'm going to get some new Plexi on it. Uh, work me some deals, Ashley. Th these are all long gone. I mean, you're talking about a piece that was most likely, let's see... Uh, I would say it's got those markings. I'd say this was probably 2005, you know, and uh, perfect. Work me some deals. I mean, call me up. Because I only have these. Two. Oh, I got one I forgot to show. Man. It's one of my favorite ones. It's funny because I. They had. And Ashley, if you could move that one over. This was done in 2010. This is State of the World Forum BC 2905. Oh, they want a big money. I saw one of these. I do not want to embarrass a dealer. Well, I don't care. Yeah, I do. Registration number 317206. Yeah, 2010 type registration number. This is huge. This was one of the most famous images that Peter Max ever came up with. He called it the State of the Word World Forum. And, you know, it was 2010 and 11. And they came out with an addition, a serigraph. <coughs> and it was, there was 250 in the addition. And it was bizarre. It was like uh, you could have number 55 or whatever number out of 250. It was 44,000, 50,000, and I'm talking 20 years ago. This is one of his most famous images. This is a unique, one-of-a-kind original. That's the only one. This is considered a unique, one-of-a-kind original by Peter Max. He got the registration number. This Peter Max was created 14 years ago. On a cruise, they want a hundred and I think it's the the retail. Let me put my glasses on. One hundred and fifteen thousand. Look at that! It's absolutely stunning. I will do an off the air special. Give Ashley a call. I will tell the operators the magic number. But call me up. Folks, it has been almost impossible to get Peter Max. Three of them I'm showing you tonight were a deal where they had bought them a long time ago, and it took about three weeks of negotiating to close on the three new ones I had tonight. And so when you look at something like this, I can never, ever, ever, not that I know of at this time, get another stay of the world forum unique original. This is the last one they had in archives at one of the largest Max dealers that does all kinds of business. That, that was it, the last one they had. So I have this uh, retailing 15,000, 9,000, 8,500 Ashley. Yeah, that's cheap. Call me up. And what I want to do, Wilson, yes, do you know the theme song, We Are the World? Really? How does it go? 
How does it go, though? You're not going to sing. Uh, I don't blame you. Um, I can't sing anyway. I have. Ashley, let's make these three fit. And we're going to take some offers. Because I have not done justice about how hard it was to get the three. One sold. Susan bought one. The Statue of Liberty. Now I have the World's Forum, which is considered to be one of the most important pieces Peter Max ever did. And that's a unique original, valued at 115000 That's Ashley. So, I have three amazing Peter Max, unique originals, one-of-a-kind original Peter Maxes. I have given you the quotes and everything else. Ashley, I can tell someone is thinking about calling you right now. Making you offer on one or two of them. What are you going to do with the phone rings? I'm going to go, I'm going to answer it on my headphones and say hello. You're not wearing headphones, are you? Yes, I am. Damn, she is. <laughs> I like Barry Chapel Art Show. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna let's put all three of these down and give give Ashley a call. You're offering any of these at that price? I'm gonna work some deals. <laughs> I'm gonna work some deals. But what I want to tell people on camera too, real fast, is it's been one of the toughest Peter Max markets I've ever seen. The archival system of the Peter Max graphics are out. They are out. They have sold them all. They are going for billions of dollars on the cruises. They are just, it's, it's been amazing to hear them talk. Like that State of the World Forum, that's the last one they had. Now, I don't know if there's another one somewhere, but they told me that was the last one Max Graphics had, period, right there. And, uh, and then the one that she's got right here, look at that. Oh, it is. That's on canvas. Acrylic on canvas, a unique one of a kind, mixed medium, acrylic on canvas, 115,000 on cruise ships. Well, give us some calls, folks. Let's put that down somewhere and let them give us a call. And Wilson, do some amazing camera work. I can tell people are getting ready to call, I hope. I'm going to give you the best deal on the planet on Peter and Max. Best deal, inner or outer galactical. And I got a special, special number in mind. Oh, yeah, the most expensive one here is the canvas one. I mean, that was a short run that is considered a unique original, one of a kind original, uh, well over 115,000. And I, I'm gonna work somebody a great price on that. That one right there with the five Liberty heads is one of the hardest ones to get to. For a period there, a couple years ago, I was selling different livery heads, they're all gone. They told me at uh, one of their representatives that the Liberty head has gone up 65% from two years ago. Whatever I was paying two years ago, double it, and then some, and they might not even have any more left. So. This is the Peter Max, born in Berlin in 1937. 
and immigrated his parents from Berlin to Shanghai, eventually got to New York and became one of the greatest pop artists of all time. Camera two, make me some offers. I'm easy tonight, Wilson. I wanna, I wanna, oh, that one with a, both of those two are absolutely unbelievable. Some would say some of the best designs Peter Max has ever done. Anybody interested, Ashley? Any kind of offers? What are they telling you? On that one right there, the one Wilson's on right there, I got a price in mind that would floor a person. On the five Statues of Liberty, unique original. All right. Tell you what I am going to do. I'm going to give it one last second. And this one I have not talked enough about. This is one of his most famous works of art ever, and there is a unique. One of a kind original by Peter Max, acrylic on paper, 115,000 on a cruise ship. We're not at sea and I'm gonna sell it a lot cheaper than that. All right, let me move some of this away for right now. Can't believe you got a $27,500 appraisal 12 years ago on that one from Park West. And let's go ahead and take this one down. I am going to put a wall sculpture back up. I don't want to get too many fingerprints on it. That's how you get busted, Wilson. All of a sudden, they're calling in to buy this. They got my fingerprint. Oh, mm -hmm. now folks, this is an EM Zax. And what's the item number on this? Three, eight. Every one of these butterflies has been hand painted. Handmade by E.M. Zacks. Look at this, and it is huge. 23 and a half by 23 and a half. It's a circle. And this is a wall sculpture. What's that? It's a statement? What, what kind of statement are you making? No. Why are you doing that to me? We got an operator here named Juliet and uh, Wilson. She's going, it's a statement piece. They go, a statement piece. She goes, yeah, Ugh. it's like a statement. Yeah. You made a statement with Romeo, didn't you? Oh, now she's getting mad. They're going to find him one of these days. Now, folks, we had this up. This is a wall sculpture. E.M. Zacks sold a piece for $10,500 at auction. What is the name of that auction house? Julian's, Julian's in Los Angeles. More pieces have been coming up. I've seen them in other auction houses, and uh, list price was at least fourteen thousand on this, folks. I got a price. 
that you, I I hope you like. $2,500. It's ready to hang on a wall. It's got the mountings on the back so you can hang it. $2,500 to open, $200 increments. Look at that. E.M. Sachs. That would make one incredible wall sculpture. I am going to move this away. Just move this one away for a second because Michael Schofield, this is one of the coolest Michael Schofields you're ever going to see. He painted this in 2020. He has quit painting. He brokers art, does all kinds of stuff, but 2918. He, Michael Schofield, is 75, I believe, 74, 75. Michael Schofield is in the billion dollar Arm & Hammer collection. He's in the Smithsonian collection, the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, DC. He is in the Library of Congress collection. He did a lot of paintings uh, for Stephen J. Canal Productions that made all the series in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. You might see an original landscape. Well, that's a Schofield, yes. This is amazing. This is large. It's 24 by 36. It is oil on canvas. Unbelievable painting. 1500 to open, not 3500, 1500 to open. $200 increments once we get the open. Hey Matt, why is that girl crying on K-pop? She having a bad art show too? I mean, look at her. She's just bawling. Did you say something to her, Juliana? Not yet. Not yet. I don't want to know about any more about this. At fifteen hundred, here. Let me show you what a lot of Michael Schofields go for. Here. This is. Why is that lady crying on K-pop? Look at this. Here is Michael Schofield, Hubs Historical, $48,500 for a larger painting. Here is Michael Schofield right here. $42,000. Print that in 07. Before the rain. Here. Michael Schofield Fine Art .com. They were all $42,000. And I got this up for $1,500 to open. That's crazy. Make me some offers. Or here's one of my favorite ones that. This is just beautiful. 
You painted this in 2022918. Autumn's Destiny. Look at that. Creek flowing. Here, I'll tell you what. And he quit painting. I, you know, it's amazing I got these. Here is Purple Majesty. I'm going to just set it up right here, Wilson. Purple Majesty. And I'm going to set one other large one up. And then I am completely out of large Schofields. This last one is Happy BC 2919. Yeah, what is that? Happy what? Happy in what? Happy in the wild. Oh my goodness, that is. Look at this. That literally makes you happy. So happy. This one right here, yes. Wilson. Yes, look at that. Those are $3,500 to open, every single one of them, but I'm not going to charge any of that. $1,500 to open is a steal. Tell you what I'm thinking about doing. I got a special off the air price. I only have three large Schofields here. There they are. I cannot get any more. He quit. And these are all painted in 2020, 2022. He shut down his studio. It doesn't exist anymore. I got a special off-air price right now. Ashley, here's what I'm thinking. All right. And oh, look how large that is. What am I doing? I'm crazy to do it, especially on this one. This is huge. Painted this one in 2020. Here's my secret off-the-air price. They got a call. Hey, your phone's blinking. Well, hang on. Does that mean somebody's calling? No, sir. Uh, you want to see how cheap these are going to be? You got to call. I got a price in mind that you're going, there is no way that Michael John Schofield, that is perfect painting, call for the secret off-air price. It is unbelievable. It's under 1500 It's under 1400 What's the item number? Oh, yes, on this one. This one is item number 2918. This is a perfect painting. It would not have surprised me if a year ago or two we auctioned that off and go for 4500 or 5500 Michael Schofield is one of the best-selling poster artists of all time. I got a, a price lower than that. I got a special off-air price. I'll tell you, but I don't want anybody to... Uh, got a call. Oh, I got a special price. Is there anything big going on on TV? Am I up against the end of American Idol or something? Did you get somebody online for these, Ashley? Here's what I am thinking. Oh, it's so cheap. 
All right, I am going to move along. What, what do you think? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say the price on this one one time. Real fast, Matt. If they don't take it, it didn't happen. Probably paid more. No, you got to call me. It's I, I can't mention it, Wilson. You know, should I say it, Matt, or not say it? It's up to you, Matt. Would you tell them the price or not? It's so cheap. Is that a yes or a no? I can't tell what he's... No. No. Oh, good. Because I, 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 I would have been in trouble. Okay. T tell you what I'm going to do. I am... Which, Matt, which do you like better, Will Help Me 1 or Will Help Me 2? Which one? I want to show you who Gregory Will Help Me is. I can show you who Michael Schofield is. Did you go to Montana to get that shirt? No. Do you want to go to Montana? Maybe. Is that where Romeo is? Yeah, I just Which one does he like better? Oh, so there's two different ones. Oh. So hang on. Does he, hang on, hang on. Are you talking about this? Oh, really? Ashley, are you talking about two Schofields? Are you talking about two Schofields? I, yeah, I, I, I don't know yet where. Well, let's find out before I run a docudrama. Hang on. Which two Schofields? I have three large Schofields. I cannot get any more. He quit. That's it. I had these up at 1500 but I got a special, special, special price. Combo is great. Do you go to McDonald's much? I get, I get the egg, Mc, uh, egg McMuffin, not egg McMuffin, sausage McMuffin. It's because Floyd loves the eggs. I can't eat eggs. I give Floyd the eggs and the cheese. I eat the egg whites. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be healthy before I die. Which one are they? Uh, on these, right? All right, let's work a magical deal. A combo deal. I got to turn off my mic. So oh, cheap, you're killing me, Ashley. Have you ever, you ever go to medical school? Wilson, no. Are you scared of blood? All right. I just gave whoever this is the best possible deal on the planet. The Peter Max is is so valuable, especially the one they want. What do you say? He's going to think about it. Oh, my goodness, I love that so much. Okay. Well, should I? Yeah, he, yeah, so when you buy the Wilhelm and Family Monster, he said, keep it kind of the same off your jacket. 
<laughs> All right, a drag cleaning business. Well, give me a call before I sell this one. So, should I put this one away for a couple minutes? And hey, they're worth it too. I'll tell you what, uh, let me play Will Help Me Too real fast so you get an idea of what a substantial artist Gregory Will Help Me is. Take a look at this. Judging my uh, success or failure by how impressed other people were with my work. And, uh, I know that in the latter part of my life now, I just, I'm trying to impress myself. And uh, I get there every once in a while. Uh, I'll get something that I think is special. And uh, you realize that uh, it's not so, what it, so important what other people think. The saying says you spent the first 20 years of your life worrying about what other people think of you. And you spend the next uh, 20 years of your life not worrying about what other people think about you. And then the next 20 years of your life, you realize that nobody was thinking of you anyway. <laughs> so. <laughs> Look at that beautiful knot that I have there. I think my heart basically is still in the West, and with that, uh, the, uh, the, the growth of the West, the death of the West, the scenery of the West. But um, in general, just uh, I find things of visual interest in uh, a lot of different places. And uh, I've been fortunate enough to make a living at this way of life uh, for many years, in spite of what my parents told me. They were only half true. <laughs> they were only half right. So, so that's, that's what I do. I'm an artist, a painter. That's all I can remember that I ever wanted to, to do or to be or seriously considered. I started drawing early on. I drew on everything I could. And, uh, we, had, uh, we didn't have any art classes or art lessons or anything. It's just something that I thought I was supposed to be and do. And I tell the story of my folks owned a dance hall and a bar in a little town around up. And I tell the story about my father hiring this itinerant artist to, that came through. He hired him to paint some murals. And I was about six or seven years old. And um, I remember sitting in that dance hall and watching him paint these murals of the mountains and the streams and the deer and the elk and the cabins. And, uh, and they were, you know, I don't know how hokey they really were. But uh, I was just fascinated by, by this man and what he could do. And uh, uh, my father worked in construction, and, uh, my, and, and they wanted to be supportive of what I was going to be, but it just wasn't in their vocabulary. They just didn't quite understand. And when I look back on it, I, you know, I, I understand now why they, you know, they tried to <laughs> steer me in a different direction, but it didn't work. You know, so when I got out of high school, I started studying art in whatever colleges I went to. I finally graduated from the University of Denver. When I went to college, the art movement in the 60s in the university system was almost 100% devoted to uh, the abstract movements in contemporary art. And for a person who just wanted to go out and learn how to paint or draw something, it was, it was fairly limited. And uh, I took as much life drawing and drawing classes, or as many drawing classes as I could, and, uh, the, um, and I got a degree in fine arts, but I felt woefully uneducated in as far as like knowing how to paint and do the things that I, that I wanted to do, and, uh, which is some form of representational art. Where I really learned was at the expense of my students at the uh, Colorado Art Institute. I taught life drawing and design and color theory and I found that I really had to delve into the subject myself and to learn it because these were sharp students and they wanted to know and so it's been a process 
And I tried the commercial art field for a while, and uh, that just didn't do it. I've been fortunate enough that I do paintings that I want to do. I very seldom take on any commission work anymore. Most of my sales come from work that I've done that, uh, that uh, somebody sees and wants, and that's where I've been fortunate. It's more I basically paint the things that I want to paint. Whenever I'm asked from other artists or younger people who are trying to make a living at this, and they say, "What's the, uh, you know, what do you do to make this happen?" and I, my answer is just be persistent. You know, never give up. Just do what you love and uh, keep doing it. And you'll either make a living at it, or you'll starve with it, or you'll might do both of it. But it's what you, it's what you're supposed to do. And I think that has to be true with any art form you're going into. If you're an actor, a dancer, singer, writer, whatever, you know, that uh, rejection is just a big, heavy word. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's so, so it's rejection. So, but uh, I think learning that failure isn't, there's no such thing as failure. You know, it's just a, it's a starting point. It's always a starting point. I liked this uh, contemporary realism as a theme, but then uh, it has a, a more of an impressionistic bent to it as far as the way it's portrayed. So my, my themes are contemporary, my, uh, my approach is uh, more impressionistic. And some paintings are very hard for me to part with, that uh, you know, to put them on the market and sell them. So I'd like to keep some of them, and I, every once in a while I find one, I, I squirrel it away and keep it. Uh, that'll be reminiscent of something that was near and dear to me, that I had some deep feelings for. And I have the, you know, the next 40 or 50 paintings I'm going to do, I already know what they are. And I'll never get to them. For if I get to them, there's going to, I hope there's another 40 or 50 out there. So, uh, and that gets easier as I get older. I think for some, you know, that creativity and youth are, are kind of tied together. And I think that's true, but there's a kind of creativity as you get older, that's uh, easier. It's not as desperate. You've failed at so many th things already that uh, you can kind of just enjoy the pace that you're at. You know that there's a peacefulness that comes with it, and a sh you know that uh, the fear passes to some degree, and uh, you can uh, see things, or at least for me, and see things a little more clearly. Than... I've been fortunate enough that I do paintings that I want to do, and uh, sometimes that leaves off part of the commercial market. Um, things that are, are, are obviously have beauty to them or sentimentality are unfortunately easier to, to sell at times, and, uh, but not, not always. Uh, so I think that one of the great part about being an artist is that uh, uh, you're try it, it gives you a chance to continue to grow the rest of your life until Alzheimer's sets in or the, you get blind like the old dog. Uh, but, you, you know, there's that, that's, that's the real beauty of this kind of life, is that there's a growth potential there that you may, you probably will never get there, but the dream is always out in front of you. Folks, that was a little film I made on Gregory Wilhelmy years ago. He is fascinated by what he calls uh, how the West has changed, how the, the, they're there, uh, a mine comes to a town near where he lived, all of a sudden it booms around there, then the mine runs out, and then the town slowly dies and you're left with 12 or 15 or 20 people and how it looks now. He paints about that and this is one of his paintings here. It's called Granko's Gate. I painted this scene outdoors in the style of Van Gogh. I used only a palette knife and butterfly, uh, buttery oil paint. Nick Granko an Italian immigrant lived here. I can't, it's hard to read this. Oh, lived here uh, across the river from us. 
he raised many goats and chickens. And he painted this all the way back in 1975. This was a painting that Gregory had painted. So that'd be 25, 45, 49 years ago. And he, it meant so much to him, he kept it. Now look at this. This is, what is Granko's Gate, Granko's Gate's number? Look at those palette knife strokes. That is great. You got it. Now, Gregory will help me. Once again, he's been in so many different museum shows. You got to be the top of the top. List price, 9000 I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Ashley. I'm going to make this so easy. $1,200 to open. $200 increments once we get the open. Look at that. And it's always fascinated me how the West is and the Northern Plains, how they look, how they've changed, what caused them to change, especially when the population moves in then moves out. That is beautiful. No open on that? Well, Ashley, if you could grab that. This is called Where Evil Dwells. He's talking about Evil Knievel. We thought we sold this, and then it got something happened. He's uh, Evil Knievel, the great daredevil, grew up in Butte, Montana. And so this is a bar in the Butte, Montana. And, you know, you got one curtain closed, one curtain open. Uh, all the Gus's lunch, chili sa uh, sandwiches, Blatt's beer, signed Gregory Wilhelmy, 2016, I believe. And where evil dwells, original on panel. And he says this about the painting. The spirit of the native son, evil Knievel, still dwells uh, in uh, the, 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 the tough and rugged uh, mining towns of Butte, Montana. I mean, this is a very expensive painting. This was shown, I believe, at the uh, Nicolaisen Art Museum. Uh, it's just amazing. I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's see if anybody's watching. Ashley, how many people are watch still watching me online? It can't be negative, Wilson. Uh, no, anyway, I'll tell you what, watch this. I just want to see, this is one of the greatest paintings I've ever seen from Gregory Wilhelmy. Watch this. Ashley, watch this. This is all I need to know about my show tonight. I got a painting that they, uh, the museums had at 25000 or 35000 I just want to see if anybody's watching me. $1,000 to open. $200 increments. It's signed on the front, it's signed on the back. The story that Gregory told is typed on the back. Now this is one of the most amazing paintings of the Butte, Montana he remembers as a kid. He grew up in Roundup, uh, Montana. Thousand dollars to open. 
Now, my guess is we're going to get that, and then some. Look at that. You ever drink Blatt's beer? Nah. And fully aged, what are they talking about? Some type of meat or? Look at that. That's all I need to know. I'm glad nobody opened on this. I would have been in more trouble than you could ever have imagined. No open once. No open twice. Fair and final warning. I'm going to move that aside, Ashley. Here comes one of the weirdest, toughest, hardest paintings to paint. Fire on St. Gregory's 2012. Fire on St. Gregory's Pond. And he writes about how the fire that was burning in, in uh, Roundup, Montana. The forest fire burned for five days. On this morning, the flames are slowly dancing in front of the rising sun. Look at that. This is a $35,000 Gregory Wilhelmy. The, 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 look at the texture he put on this painting. This is why he is invited to so many museum shows. Look at this. Look at the texture. This is a masterpiece. Tell you what I'm going to do. Hmm. Look at that, Wilson. Retail 35,000. Ashley started zero, $250 increments. Let's see if anybody is still watching. If you could own one painting by Gregory Wilhelmy, this was shown at the Nicolaisen Art Museum. It drew crowds. I'm starting at zero. Got to make sure the phones work. Wouldn't that be something if they didn't? <laughs> no, it wouldn't be something, Barry. It'd be, a, hey, there, there it is. Hey, I'm on TV. Just joking. I'm <laughs> seeing myself on the phone. All right, Barry, shut up while I... Tr All right. All right, I'm going to shut. All right, I see we're 25 seconds behind. Okay, so eight, five, five, four, seven, four. Boy, I need my glasses more and more. Six, seven, seven, eight. Who is this? Uh, uh, this is Ashley. Ashley, how come no one's bought my painting yet? All right, I don't know. Just wanted to make sure the phones were working. They, they are. Bye. <laughs> I'm starting at zero. Zilch, Niet, nine, zero. You know, I'm going to take this painting down and run with it. All right. There goes that idea. Okay. Let's move along. Here's what I'm going to do. Ashley, <laughs> there goes Ashley. I got this, I got a Zax, and I got some Liberty Heads. 
I used to be able to sell unique original Liberty heads. One of our customers, Melvin, bought a ton of them. They are not, they are out. There aren't any more anywhere at Max Graphics. This could be the last one. I, I'm telling you, they've been dealing with their archival onesie twosies. This one right here, I have an appraisal for 27500 by Morris Shapiro. Uh, pri uh, let's see what it says. Uh, uh, appraiser of uh, Park West Art. Director of Park West Art. BC 2936. This is on canvas. And it has, Wilson, all oh, the bells and whistles. Look at that. Everything you need to prove that this is not a counterfeit. When Peter Max dies, that will be a concern. It's not here because you see the registration number. You see the Peter Max seal. They have Peter Max, we seal stuff. They have a couple anti-counterfeiting measures in the seal. Then you got the letter for Morris Shapiro. And you got every, everything, and this is on canvas. So, folks, talk to me. I have three Peter Maxes. This is on canvas. Yes. This is on canvas right here. This is on canvas. Look how much acrylic he uses, Wilson, on these hearts. Yes. Look at this. $102,000, they were telling people. I, well, I, I was told on some of the VIP cruises for a, a unique original like this. You got three flags, two Liberty heads, and Peter Max double heart. Call me. Talk to me. We had this up for what did, what did I have this price at, Ashley? This? Yeah, was it? <laughs> no, it was. Uh, I lowered all the way down to eighty five hundred. If I'm, yeah, I had it up for more, but I lowered it down to eighty five hundred. Make me some offers. I have the the five Liberty heads. I had that up for forty five hundred. Make me an offer. I have. The World's Forum, original, unique, original, acrylic on paper back here. Call me. Talk to me. I have a Zach's original. Just let me know what you guys. Someone's going to call. I can feel it, Wilson. They're dialing. You know how hard it is to get Peter Max on canvas? Unique, original, mixed medium on canvas by Peter Max. Hundred and two thousand. When you go through and read the Peter Max book, it, you know, a lot of stories about his memories of Shanghai and how it influenced him. I could auction somebody, just come, call me up, see if we can't.
Ashley the offers. Tell you what, I am very receptive, especially show them that I got I got a price of mine, the one below that, Wilson. Ashley, yes. if somebody wants five Liberty Heads, this is what I'm thinking. This is rock bottom on five Liberty Heads. Are you ready for this? I'm not going to say it on TV. Ashley, this way. On the five Liberty Heads. Okay. Do you know what that comes out per head, Wilson? Nobody. They don't like me anymore, Wilson. I've overstayed my welcome. I was concerned at 32 years, but 33, that's it, in the garbage. That is a unique mixed medium original. Call me up. Because I got prices on Wilhelmy, Schofield, Peter Max. Yes, all of the Peter Maxes are have been personally hand signed by Peter Max. They have a registration number, and you could even and you could even call Peter Max Graphics. I don't know what they charge anymore, but they will have a picture of Peter Max signing your piece. What? Which one do they want to see? Ask me. You can ask me anything, Ashley. Don't ask. Yeah, well, you, Giuliani won't answer, but you can ask. Which one are they interested in? Oh, and look at the one above it. On canvas, Wilson. Look at that. Mixed medium oil on canvas by Peter Max. 102,000. Not going to be anywhere near that. Who were you talking to that said, ask him? No, but I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I can do. my mic is on what if I will put where is the Schofield he wants what if we gave him this Peter Max and this Schofield I can work him a good deal All right, this is a beautiful Peter Max. 
and this Schofield. I'll watch this, Ashley, for both. Okay. <laughs> what did he say? He said he'd rather have the one on the Yeah, but he's got, can he come up a little bit? Because what he's offering, I, I, you can't get it. For these two, this is what I was thinking for these two. But he doesn't want these two. Someone's going to get a great Schofield tonight. All right, I'm walking over here. Canvas backup. And I'm going to move the five Liberty heads away. I'm going to put the one on canvas back here, which your color and all the people that have ever shopped for Peter and Max know how rare it is on canvas. And I want to always have the best price on the planet. Wilson, look at that, that, that. Look, look at that right there, $27,500 appraised by Peter uh, by Park West 12 years ago. That was 12 years ago. And, and look at all the anti-counterfeiting watermarks and everything else. Yeah, here's the one on canvas. Look at that. I think I can get it. He, if he can come up a little bit, I can make it happen. What do you say? What about... Well, how about this? That would be a heck of a deal. And that's bottom, bottom, bottom. And I thank you. I have a Zach's wall sculpture. And I have some Peter Max. This is on canvas right here. This is acrylic on canvas by Peter Max. Okay. We got about 35 minutes left. What I'm going to do for those of you that have missed the last 15 minutes, I'm getting calls and offers. This is a very, very, very valuable Peter Max. This is acrylic on canvas. This is canvas, not paper. And I don't want to Park West staple the appraisal on the back. The appraisal was written April 13, 2012. For this piece, they appraised it at $27,500. That was person that appraised this, Morris. Shapiro for Park West Galleries. Yeah, so uh, Matt, this is 2936. And it comes with a registration number. All the different registration anti-counterfeit numbers. This was made in 2008 by Peter Max. And it has a 27,000 five hundred dollar appraised value from the appraiser for park west one of the largest 
auctions at sea. I had this up for $8,500, but put the $8,500 up with a slash through it, call me. I'll work some deals. I have three Peter Maxes, which are almost impossible to get. They are out. I have one that was done, I believe, in 2002. I got the one up there right now that was done in 2008. And then I have uh, the World's Forum, which was done, I think, in 2006. Oh, I'm sorry, 2010. Call me up. And I have, and Ashley, the guy that was negotiating on both, Maybe he just wants to get to Schofield tonight. Maybe I can give him a great price on the Schofield without the Peter Max. Call me. I appreciate it. This was done in 2010. That is acrylic on paper. This is acrylic on canvas the one behind it and this is acrylic on paper right here and the man that was negotiating on the Peter Max in the Schofield maybe I can find a price for him he can't make the Peter Max happen maybe he can make the Schofield happen and I hope everybody look at this this is what Peter Max's, like the World's Forum, go for. This is Angel with Heart. I used to have this piece, piece like this. It says retail $80,000, asking $61,300. And I printed this in... twenty twelve January of twenty twelve twelve years ago call me let's see what we can make happen I got an extra special price if he just wants to Schofield Okay, Wilson. Ugh. I need some Ann Landers advice from you. I mean, I've been doing this for over a third of a century, Wilson. I'm not talking a decade, I'm talking a century. And I have incredible deals on this. The one on canvas would cost you over a hundred thousand dollars unframed. Mine is framed, mine has the registration numbers, the anti-counting devices, everything you would want on that canvas one. And I could have put up a lot more, I put up at 8,500, which was cheap to what they charge, 102,000, but I'm willing to take an offer lower than that. That's the good news. Bad news, I got 28 minutes. I can feel somebody's calling on that one. What are they saying? They didn't say that. Yeah, you see, she said that twice. Oh. So, what's that? That's a devil. <laughs> Do you know an exorcist anywhere, Wilson? What was the question you asked me?
example that is? Schofield. All right, I'm going to move the forum away. And uh, someone, I can feel it. Someone is getting close to buying my Canvas Peter Max here. And that one that he is talking about is absolutely stunning. We're talking, look how large this is, Ashley. This is a piece you're talking about, right? Oh, uh, yeah, he's got to buy it at that price. This is 5500 6500 in you know, most days of the week. This was painted four years ago. Okay. Now, last calls on this Peter Max. For both. I'm, I'm working everything I can right now. This is on canvas. This is a hundred and two thousand. And Ashley says, it's a mutiny. Ashley's in charge. That's one of the most important images he's ever done. Look at this. Look at this. It was done in 2010. That's, that's huge and it's important.
I got three Peter Maxes and Ashley is in charge. I have no control anymore, Wilson. It's out of my hands. Yeah, give us a call. We'll make it happen. Yes, we have Peter Max. Let me, uh, camera two. Peter Max is about the hardest artist to get. <coughs> he is 85 years old. I have the Peter Max with the anti-counterfeiting registration number, which is so important. So, so, so important. I have the Peter Max registration number have all the anti-counterfeit devices Peter Max paints into his paintings, and to have a canvas mixed media original right there is second to none. Look at that. That is stunning. That's on canvas. This is on paper. The other two are acrylic on paper. This is acrylic on canvas. And this one right here comes with a Peter Max appraisal. Ow. One last time, take a look at this appraisal that Peter Max graphics put on this piece right here, Wilson. Look at this. I'm not the one that taped it there and stapled it there. Uh, Morris Shapiro, gallery director for Park West Galleries. Appraisal was written 4-13-2012. Appraised value 12 years ago, 27500 U.S. dollars. Can they see that through the... Okay. You're getting... 12 years ago, you got all the anti... Look at this. M286988. A second anti-counterfeiting uh, device. Then you had the registration number. You got everything you could ever want on this canvas, Peter Max. So you got the canvas, Peter Max. You have two unique original oil acrylic on paper. And actually, if somebody wants the, the world's forum, I'll work them a deal. Just call me. I have 19 minutes. Who are we talking with? Uh, Nick. Nick? James, Say what? Nick, James, they're, they're all, calling on the all right, which one are they interested in? I will work everybody a deal. Call me right now. I'm going to walk over here. So who's the first question? Let's see what we get. Let's make some stuff happen here. Which one do you have? Are you working for Melvin now? No, oh my goodness. That canvas one is very, very, very rare. I haven't seen another one um, in a long time. Melvin was very smart when he bought all those Liberty heads. The price of those, like, I can't even get them now. But they said they've gone up like basically three times. And which one is Melvin interested in?
Yeah. Come on, yeah. <laughs> well, I, we have a, a combo deal. Okay. On um, which two? Uh, Nick called in. Nick he, called? He asked prices on all of them. Okay. He told me to call him back. He lost the prices. <laughs> I haven't, well, all right, well, hang on. Let me, all right. I'm going to turn my mic off. On canvas is a very rare mixed media, very early work. You can tell from the registration number and Morris Shapiro, who was their director of operations. I don't know if he's still there. So when he writes an appraisal, it's gold. Um, I only got 15, 14 minutes. What does Melvin want to do? Let's make something happen right now. Say what? Boy, we got some fierce negotiations. Everybody wants that canvas one. I didn't trip yet. Yeah. They're going to. And I thank everybody for putting up with me. And does Melvin, is everybody, is Melvin happy? Where is Melvin? Oh, my goodness. See, here's the problem, Wilson, or Cameron, too. I can't go back to teaching English. I could. But the problem is they want to hire people when they're in their late 20s, early 30s to give them tenure. I'm no longer in my late 30, late 20s, early 30s. I'm old. So... Uh, even when I dyed my hair, which I quit, I haven't dyed it. I got my hair cut the other day. I was tempted, but now I'll look too strange. I'll look like an old man that dyed his gray hair black. And people go, that's crazy, Jabble. So I didn't do that. So let's see if we can't make this deal happen. What'd they say? And which person are we working with right now? What's that? Said, For now, yeah. what did what did Melvin say? Uh, and Melvin or whoever this canvas Peter Max, you know Melvin, I can work you a great deal, Melvin, on the canvas Peter Max, and this one right here, the world's form. I could make you one heck of a deal. And this is 90% of the deal. This canvas Peter Max with the Park West appraisal. Um, if, if the customer is asking you about the sunset with the lake, you'll help me address that. Uh, is that the great building on fire? Yes. Okay. Well, whoever's out there still watching, I got 13 minutes, 
fight for this canvas one. I haven't had too many canvas ones. They are impossible to get. Peter, you know, they have run out at Peter Mag's Graphics of so many of them. They can't. Uh, we have a friend, uh, well, we, one guy, we you know, we filled our order for Umbrella Man, and they keep raising it, even after we picked up ours. And they said, and they have a couple left. They said, Barry, well, if you want one of those, it's up this much. Well, I go, what is this, Weimar Republic? I mean, how could it go up that much that quick? It's, just, it's not us, it's Peter Max Graphics. So whoever wants this, Melvin, if you can get this, grab it. You will not look back on a canvas with a $27,500 appraisal written from Mar Mar uh, Mar Shapiro 12 years ago. So if he valued it 27,512 years ago, before the Peter Max mania has really kicked in, oh my. And who are you talking to? This is the world's form done in 2010. And that's a beautiful. I was told this was the last one that Peter Max Graphics had. That's what they told me. And. Look at this right here on canvas with the $27,500 replacement value written 12 years ago by the director of Peter Max Galleries. All right. I got 11 minutes. They're both important, but you know, just so people know, on this world forum, if I remember right, about a decade ago, or maybe 15 years ago, 18 years ago, Peter Max came out with a signed and numbered serigraph, and it was like 4,800, and there were 250 in the edition. This is a one-of-a-kind, unique original. There's only one that looks just like this, this one. <laughs> That's why it's like 110,000 on cruise lines unframed. Who are you talking with, Ashley? Yes, I still have the Zacks, but I have whatever you guys need. Mm. Have you ever met anybody named Rube? That's a pretty unique name, isn't it? I would consider that a girl's name as well as a boy's name. So I'm changing my daughter's name, Kate, to Rube. Yeah. She didn't answer me back quick enough when she had the flu. I kept writing her, are you better? And it came out, are you B? R U B E and then the, the T T E R it wasn't there. So I said, hey, that's a good name for a Rube. Rubicon. Alright, which one are they interested in, Ashley? I'm running out of time here. I am almost out of time. Wait, you see that? Both of these, State of the World form, that's a unique, one-of-a-kind original, very valuable. The one on canvas, super uber valuable. And I have 10, 9, 8 minutes left. What does he say? 
Ashley, what price did you quote him? This is a very important piece right here. This is one of his most known pieces, and that is a unique, one-of-a-kind original acrylic on paper. What is it? What is he saying? That's crazy money, too. This is 115,000 on a Park West cruise unflamed. What are they saying? No. And we have the five Liberty faces right here. All right, Chapel. Show some manual dexterity. There you go. I'm going to straighten that. Yes. All right, we got to move along. I'm going to work some deals. Thank you so much. I am going to move this over here. I'm going to move this over here. And... Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's... And right here... On the most amazing Schofield you ever gonna see. Right now, real fast. Anybody wants it? It is Oil on Canvas by Michael Schofield. It was painted in 2020, $1,200, and you own it with nothing but praise about it. Autumn's Destiny. BC 2918, $1,200 and it's yours. Yeah, we'll get that up real fast, Matt. Thank you. I'm down to nine, uh, five minutes at $1,200 on 2918. Yes. $1,200. I lowered it all the way down to $1,200. That's a winner of winners. And whoever gets that canvas, Peter Max, uh, you're never going to regret it. There's like... Uh, Who was the guy that loved the Schofield that we couldn't work a deal with? James, $1,200. You're getting a monumental Schofield. And I want to thank everybody. I got four minutes left, maybe three. Whether it's a real homie, a Schofield, a Peter Max.
want to thank everybody. I gotta show it. I gotta show it. That's what I do. And I want to, all right, right here. Wilson, cutest dog of the week. Right here. That is pretty boy Floyd. That is my uh, new dog. He goes along well with Ginger, my hound dog, but pretty boy Floyd is a Chiweenie. I found pretty boy Floyd who had been attacked. Look at him just sleeping on the couch. Pretty boy Floyd had been attacked by a coyote and a couple people even thought the dog was dead. I walked up and the dog moved. And I'm going to show you my picture of pretty boy Floyd. Hang on. Three, two. Coyote broke two of his ribs, three of his ribs. And hang on. I got all these pictures at the vet, but I don't have time to show them. But I can show you this. This is what his neck looked like. The coyote had bit him around the neck and flipped him. And he, I thought he was dead. But he had two broken ribs. He had three different casts. But now pretty boy Floyd is a happy camper. Yes. He is my 12 and a half pound Chiweenie. I named him pretty boy Floyd because I got his sex wrong when I rushed him to the vet. I said, it's a girl. And the vet said, well, what the hell's that? And I go, I'm too woke. I don't know. I'm sorry. So uh, I came up with the name, or someone told me the name, and I kept it, Pretty Boy Floyd. Cute little guy. So, folks, I want to thank you. How much time do I have? Hey, we love you. See you next week. You take care. Don't kick that dog, Buford. Don't kick the dog. See you later. Bye-bye.